वेलकम यू आर लिसनिंग रेडियो सेंट्रल न्यूज आई एम विक्रांत डोगरा एंड नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल इंडिया रजिस्टर टू लैख इलेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी एट फ्रेश केसेज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन एंड थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सेवन के ज्वेलिटीज इन दी पास ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दी डाटा अपडेटेड बाई द यूनियन हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री ऑन थर्सडे द फ्रेश एडिशन टू दी कम्यूलेटिव केस लोड टू टू करोड़ सेवेंटी थ्री लैख सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड एंड नाइन्टी थ्री वेल द डेथ टोल सोड टू थ्री लैख फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव द एक्टिव केस लोड इन द कंट्री इज ट्वेंटी फोर comprising 8.84% of the total infections while 2 crore 4633951 people have recovered from disease so far amounting 90.01% of recovery rate the case fatality rate stands at 1.15% meanwhile the indian council of medical research icmr said that a total of 33 crore 69,69353 samples have been tested so far for coronavirus on this 21,57,857 were tested in the past one day on the vaccination front a total of 20 crore 26,95,874 people have been vaccinated across the country till now with 18,85,805 administered in the last 24 hours Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Thursday launched services e-health assistance and teleconsultations SCHAT OPD portal through video conferencing for all defence personnel and veterans describing the SCHAT OPD portal as a great example of innovation especially at a time when the nation is fighting the COVID-19 pandemic he said that the portal will help reduce the load on hospitals and patients will be able to get contactless consultations in an easy and effective manner Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Singh lauded Department of Military Affairs (DMA), Armed Forces Medical Services (AFMS), Integrated Defence Staff (IDS), Centre for Development of Artificial Computing (CDAC), Mohali, and other organisations involved in the development of this online consultation web portal. The Defence Minister also asked the Armed Forces Medical Services (AFMS) to consider adding specialist doctors to this portal and incorporating the services of delivery of medicines. to the homes of this services personnel this will provide additional services and ensure greater convenience to the armed forces personnel and suggested that regular feedback of beneficiaries should be obtained from improved delivery of services he said the portal provides telemedicine services to the serving armed forces personnel veterans and their families the services can be availed by registering on the website https e h a t o p d dot in slash with the latest version of this o p d portal with advanced safety features. The trial version was made functional in August two thousand twenty. More than six thousand five hundred medical consultations have already been carried out. The beta version of service doctors. Even as endeavors continue on war footing in Madhya Pradesh to combat the second wave of the novel coronavirus, a second front of sorts have opened up, and at least seven hundred patients infected by black fungus are undergoing treatment. Meanwhile, one thousand nine hundred and ten impulses of amphotericin reached the state on Thursday. The medication is being air dashed to Jabalpur, Gwalior, and Sagar. Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan conveyed via social media. US President Joe Biden has called on intelligence officials to redouble their work to find out how the virus was first transmitted to humans. China's foreign ministry accused the US of political manipulations and blame shifting. It has rejected any link between COVID-19 and a virus research lab in the Chinese city of Wuhan. COVID-19 was first detected in Wuhan in late 2019. Since then, more than 168 million cases have been confirmed worldwide and about 3.5 million deaths reported authorities linked early covid cases to a seafood market in wuhan leading scientists to theorize that the virus had first passed to humans from animals The BAC Sensex on Thursday added another gains of 97.70 points to close at 51,115.22 following gains in Bankex, consumer durable, power and metal stocks. The Nifty rose by 36.40 points to 15,337.85. In spite of volatility, the equity market ended positive for another day today as the Sensex went up by 111 points to open at 51,100 
1,028.80. It surged 265 points to 51,282.90 days high. Later, it was tanked nearly 126 points to 50,891.66 days low. In late trade, it was recovered and finished in green at 51,115.22, up by 97.70 points from its previous close. The Nifty recorded days high and low at 15,384.55 and 15,272.50 points respectively. The sectoral indices like Bank X, Consumer Durable Power, Utilities and Metal kept the rally intact. The mid-cap rose by 0.54% and small-cap by 0.34%. In 30 scripts, 19 advanced while 11 declined. That is all for today's news bulletin. Stay tuned to Radio Central News for more updates.